Today I'm answering the question, G7 Scout or 3030 Repeater? Which one should you be using in Season 8? If you end up enjoying this video, be sure to subscribe, I have a lot more videos just like this one coming. Alright, let's jump straight into the stats. So the G7 is an AR that's been with us since the beginning. It's underwent a bunch of changes, but it's still probably the most solid damage farming weapon in the game. The 3030 Repeater is new to Season 8 and it's attempting to rival the G7. But in this video, we'll see if it actually does beat it. So the magazine increments on a G7 go as follows. 10 rounds with no mag. 15 rounds with a white mag. 18 rounds with a blue mag. And 20 rounds with a purple mag. The magazine increments on the 3030 are 6 shots with no mag. 8 shots with a white mag. 10 shots with a blue mag, and 12 shots with a purple mag. So the 3030 definitely has less ammo, but it deals more damage. Let's check out the damage stats and time to kill on the G7. So looking at a normal body shot, it hits for 34 damage. And on a headshot, it hits for 60 damage. So if you were to hit all body shots on a full mag, you're dealing over 600 damage, which is definitely enough to kill a whole team in one mag. Now let's look at the damage on the 30-30. So we're dealing 42 damage on a body shot and 74 damage on a headshot. So if you were to hit all body shots on a full mag, you're dealing 504 damage, which is significantly less than the G7, but the 30-30 has a little trick up its sleeve. It has a feature that allows it to charge up when you ADS, and it deals more damage the longer you ADS. With this charge up feature, we can deal 57 on a body shot, and 100 on a headshot. So using the charge up feature, the new damage numbers on the 3030 repeater come out to be 684 damage if you were to hit all 12 body shots charged up. This is more than the G7, even though it has less bullets in the mag. Let's compare the reload speeds of these two weapons. And... That is significantly slower. But what this weapon allows you to do is while you're reloading, you can aim down sights and continue to shoot. So say for example, you shoot somebody a couple times, and then you have to reload. You can load two or three bullets, and then immediately shoot again. You don't have to wait the entire reload animation. So now let's take a look at the time to kill on each weapon. Here's the G7 with all body shots, time to kill. Here's the G7 with all headshots, time to kill. Comparing this to the 3030s, all body shot, time to kill. And then the 3030s all headshots time to kill. And now the charged up time to kill. And the charged up headshot time to kill. So what we're seeing is the G7 is slightly faster in terms of time to kill. But let's take a look now at the effective ranges of each weapon. We're looking at a 360 meter target on the G7. That's an easy shot. You don't have to lead that far and the bullet travels fast enough to reach the target in an adequate amount of time. Let's look at the 3030s effective range. So there's more bullet drop, but as you can see, the shot actually reaches a lot faster. Let's test the hip fire of each weapon. 10 meters away from the target. And that's every shot hitting. On the G7. Definitely not every shot hitting. But let's slow down our shots to about the same fire rate as the 3030. So 
if you're able to slow down your shots, you can definitely get a lot more precise. So the G7 has a faster fire rate, less damage, but a faster time to kill. It's less accurate, it's a slower bullet velocity at longer ranges, and it's less accurate on its hipfire. But the 3030 has faster bullet velocity, more bullet drop, it's more accurate at hip firing, it has a charge up feature, but it also has a couple of hidden unknown features. For example, the 3030 can open doors. On top of that, it has this pretty sick inspect animation. That's really cool. And the last hidden feature of the 3030 repeater is that when you charge it up, it increases the hip fire accuracy. So here's an example of this. That's 350 meters. That should not be hip fireable, but with it fully charged up. So when you have it fully charged, you have an increased hip fire accuracy. But there's one more metric I want to use to compare these weapons, and that's how satisfying either one is to use. And this is definitely going to go to the 3030 repeater. Just listen to this sound. So those are basically all of the stats for these weapons. I would say the G7 is better for the aggressive player, while the 3030 is better for the slower paced player who wants to get some satisfying shots in. Personally, I'm definitely going to be maining the 3030 and ditching the G7 only because this weapon is new, and you love to see new content.